So welcome to the second lesson, uh, where we'll be talking about types of traffic. Types of traffic. Okay. What is traffic, website traffic? Website traffic refers to the volume of users that travel to a given website, okay? So when we talk about traffic as a digital marketer, we're not talking about traffic jam. We're not talking about post loop, like we call it in Nigeria. We're not talking about a traffic jam, but we're talking about the number of users, the volume of users that travel to a given website. So when you have uh, a product page, a squeeze page, a value home, okay? And people are being sent one way or the other to that site and they are seeing your website, they are seeing your page, then we call them traffic. So the number, the volume, the amount of users that travel to a given website is called traffic, okay? And uh, there are different types of traffic. The first one we'll talk about is direct traffic. Direct traffic refers to the users who travel directly to your website. The okay. users who travel directly to your website. They did not go through early, did not click a link to get to your website. They did not go to Google to get to your website. They actually went to their browser and typed in your website. Okay, and typed in your website to load it. Okay, which means they know your website in their mind, in their heart. They know it by, by art, okay? Uh, one of the websites that almost 90% of the population of the world uh, go to that website using direct traffic is google.com. You know, almost anybody, they're looking for something online, the first place, the first website they think about is google.com, okay? So google.com, come enjoy over 90% of uh, indirect traffic. So how do you get to have people, you know, come to your website directly? Number one is how much have built your brand, your, your brand visibility, how much have built your uh, the name of your website in the mind of people. In a country like uh, Nigeria, for example, you know, uh, a website like jumia.com.ng, a website like gg.ng, you know, those kind of websites, they're already in our heads, okay? You don't need to go to Google to go to gg.ng. You just go there, gg.ng, because we already have it in our, you know, we already have it in our subconscious mind. So how have you been able to promote your brand, promote your business, that the link is already in somebody's mind? They don't need to even go through anything. They already know it by heart. Okay, so for you to enjoy direct traffic, your brand must really be known, okay? And it takes a lot of work to be able to be getting direct traffic, okay? Uh, another type of traffic is referral traffic. Referral traffic is when users are directed to your website through external links, all right? So somebody visits uh, your website by clicking a link somewhere outside your website and they land on your website. That is what we call referral link. Maybe you are, you, you are involved in a forum or in a discussion um, community, and there you have, you have put your links in those places, or somebody shares your link somewhere, okay? And people click through it. That means you are enjoying referral traffic. That means all that websites are referring people to your own site, okay? They are clicking to visit your site via other websites. That's what we call referral traffic, okay? Then we have what we call organic traffic. Organic traffic refers to the number of users that reach your website through a SERP. SERP means search engine result pages. Search engine result pages. Note all these words. Search engine result pages. Okay. What are search engines? Search engines are websites that people go to to search for things. And of course, the most popular search engine uh, website is google.com, google.com, all right? So google.com 
We have yahoo.com. We have baidu.com. They are different. There are a lot. There are actually a lot of search engine, but the most popular definitely is google.com. So when people put in your website in google.com and or they put something like they are searching for something in google.com and your website shows up, okay, in the search engine result page, then you are actually you are actually gaining organic traffic. Let us see an example, okay? Let's see an example. Let's say we go to google.com and somebody types in Sorry. Okay. So these are these are search engine results. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number ten, number nine, number ten. Okay, so you can see Fidel Cash e learning. I can see Fidi Cash Social e commerce, Fidi Connect course. You can see e learning. This is my name, Odofin Caleb, Facebook. You can see. Okay, so these are uh, search engine results. So when people go to search engine and they click, if I click now and I get to FidiCash.com, then I am enjoying organic traffic. All right, so that is organic traffic. Now, the next one is social traffic social traffic is characterized by the users that take the social media routes to your website okay which means people are clicking from sites like facebook uh, instagram tiktok youtube twitter and so on and so forth that is where the traffic is coming from, then you will say that you have social traffic, social traffic, okay? And then, of course, pay traffic. By the name, you know what that is. That's the traffic you pay to get from different digital platforms. You paid to get, you know, visitors, you know, from different digital platforms. Then uh, if you paid for it, then it is a paid traffic. Now, as a digital marketer, you must know how much and what type of traffic are you actually getting, okay? Are you actually getting? Are you getting a lot of direct traffic? Are you getting a lot of referral traffic? Are you getting a lot of organic traffic? Are you getting a lot of social traffic? How much of paid traffic are you getting, okay? How much of direct traffic are you getting? You must know part time. I must know, okay, I like to I like to work on my page so that I'll get more of organic traffic. I want people to search through uh, Google, search through Yahoo, and my website is showing up and people are visiting my site. Okay, I want to get more of referral traffic. So let me get myself out there on different, different websites. Okay, I want to get more of social traffic. Let me appear more on different social media platforms. Okay, let my link appear. On social media platforms. Let me share my link up. Let people share my link in, in different social media platforms and so that way you can increase your traffic okay so you must know as a digital marketer what kind of traffic are you getting okay and there are ways you can get to know that now there are two traffic i want you to understand about we have what we call all the all traffic and targeted traffic all traffic versus targeted traffic as a digital marketer if you all you, what you are getting is all traffic. Then you are wasting money, you are wasting time, you are wasting energy. You want to get as much targeted traffic. Targeted traffic means you are getting traffic of people who actually need your product. You know, you have been able to drill down and understand those who actually need your products. So you are looking for ways by which you can increase your target traffic and reduce all traffic. You don't need all traffic because all traffic will not, is the money is not in all traffic. 
money is in targeted traffic. So you want to drill down the traffic that is coming to your web page, your product page, your value home, okay? And make sure that you are getting targeted traffic. All right. 